Well, hello, and welcome to Cooking with Jerry Estrada. Today, I'm gonna to go ahead and show you how I make my mango cobbler. It's mango season. I have two mango trees. I'm having mangoes, and my friends are giving us mangoes. So if you have a lot of mangoes, this is a good way of using, not letting them go to waste. So for the mango cobbler, I'm gonna go ahead, and I'm gonna need about four or five mangoes, basically about four cups. Uh, half a cup of sugar, half a cup of water, a quarter teaspoon of salt and a little bit of vanilla extract. That's for that's what part one. Part two is I'm going to make the batter. I'm going to need one cup of flour, uh, one cup of sugar. I'm going to need another quarter teaspoon of salt, two tablespoons, uh, two teaspoons of baking powder, three quarter cup of milk, and a mixing bowl. And we come over here. You're going to need a glass baking dish, a 13 by nine, and I already cut six tablespoons of butter and get that ready. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna go ahead and start peeling the, um, the mangoes and get this started. Okay, well, here we go. I ended up using five mangoes, but they were pretty big mangoes. I cut them up in slices, and this is a container that has two cups. I have the other two cups here. So it's, it came out to be a total of four cups of mango. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna start cooking the mango. I'm gonna do it in a medium simmer. And I'm gonna add the mangoes. And then I'm going to also add, here we go. I'm gonna use the half a cup of sugar. And I'll mix that up in a little bit. I'm going to use one quarter teaspoon of salt. Let's move that a little bit around to magnify the taste. I'm going to use a half a cup of water. And I'm going to sprinkle just a little bit of vanilla extract. That's about good. All right. And I'm going to mix that. Now, in the meantime, while that's cooking, I'm also going to go ahead and start melting the butter at the, the, in the oven at a temperature of 350 degrees. Okay, so now, while well, the, the four cups of mangoes, I put them all together, are cooking with the sugar and a little bit of water and the, uh, a little bit of salt and a little vanilla. While that's cooking there, I'm now gonna go ahead and do the batter. The batter, very simple. I'm gonna use one cup of all-purpose flour. I'm gonna mix there a cup of sugar. And then I'm going to use one quarter teaspoon of salt and I'm going to use two teaspoons of baking powder. That's one and two. And then I'm gonna mix these ingredients well together and I'm gonna slowly add milk. And I'm going to mix it for a little, I'm only going to make sure that they're combined. I'm not going to really make it like a real liquidy batter, but I'm going to make it so they all, at least all the ingredients are combined together. Okay, so the batter is ready, and uh, the butter was melted in the oven while I was cooking, so I saved time with that. And now I'm going to spread the batter nice and evenly into the uh, the oven, the glass dish here. Oye, para español, esto es un un postre con mango. Si tiene muchos mangos, es que se le están perdiendo. Mira, aproveche esta receta y usen los mangos, no los dejen perder. Eh, usamos, cocinamos los ma el mango con un poquito de azúcar, esto, también entonces eh, hicimos esto, la mezcla y con flor, bueno, eh, ahí está, so, vean las instrucciones, eh, lo estoy diciendo en inglés, pero también en español. So anyway, I'm mixing the batter here, and I am, notice I'm just spreading it, I'm not mixing it. And once it's all done, I mixed it here. Then I, what I did in the meantime was I separated the mangoes from the, the sauce pan. See, I separated that way I can distribute the mango easier without the juices. So, see, I separated the mangoes and now I'll just go ahead and I'll put them right on top of the batter and just spread them out. Okay. 
And again, like I say, you don't mix this, you just put it on top and uh, evenly spread it out. After you do this, then uh, I'll go ahead and I'll play, I'll apply some of the juice or the syrup that I made from the uh, mango. Okay, so I'm almost done here. I was spreading out the mango like I wanted to, distribute it real nice and evenly. And then now, once that's done, I'm gonna go ahead and start incorporating some of the syrup that I made over it. I do this so, so it won't come out to be all too, too soggy and too watery. So that's why I only pour a little bit. I don't really pour all of it. And this is going to then, I'm gonna go ahead and put it in an oven that's already been preheated at um, 350 degrees. It's gonna cook for about 40 minutes. I'm gonna put a little bit of cinnamon, cinnamon, <laughs> a little touch. Oh, beautiful, it smells really good. I bet you, uh, you can almost smell it over there. But anyway, so here we go, and I'm gonna put it into the oven now for about 38 to 40 minutes, depending on your oven, okay? Okay, well, here it is. This is my mango cobbler. And I'm gonna go ahead and cut a little piece out and taste it and everything. But before I do, I wanna do a little reach out to, uh, a little shout out to Mercy Soleil. Mercy, you gave me the idea. Go ahead, since we have so many mangoes, to do a mango cobbler. So here it is, this is in your honor. So I'm gonna cut a little piece. And I want you to know that you always wanna let this kinda of cool down a little bit before you attempt to eat this. This comes out very hot. It's always nice when it's nice and warm. I separate the edges a little bit. I cut a little piece here, and a little piece here, and I don't eat too much because I want to be in a diet, but this is a little bit of cobbler there, and of course, you got to put a little bit of ice cream on it, and I also want to tell you is that I saved a little bit of the the syrup, the mango syrup that I made when I cooked this. And with this, I'm just gonna top it over just a little bit and give it the final touch. And let me tell you, take a good look at that. That is beautiful. I'm gonna go ahead and taste it now. Da, 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 da. Mm. Oh wow, you can really taste the, uh, the mango, real nice and tasty. Yes, so what I want to say is, mm, definitely this is a, a dessert that everybody should try. It's simple, it's a little different than my peach cobbler, but still it is just as good, maybe even better. So I'd like to say, if you like this, go ahead and share, put a like, make, I appreciate your comments of, your other, of my other videos that I've done. So thank you so much, buen provecho, and thank you for cooking again with Jerry Estrada, and I'll see you next time. Thank you and have a good night.